Hello, uh, <clears throat> Pastor Keith here, clearing his throat. It's morning prayer for Tuesday morning, August 23rd, 2022. Coming to you from beautiful Hawaii Ne, the archipelago of Hawaii, right? On Oahu, Mililani Town, at Christ Lutheran Church. This is Psalm 109, starting at the 21st verse. But you, O Lord, my Lord, act on my behalf for your namesake. Because your steadfast love is good, deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is pierced within me. I am gone like a shadow at evening. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting. My body has become gaunt. I am an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God. Save me according to your steadfast love. Let them know that this is your hand. You, O Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but you will bless. Let my assailants be put to shame. May your servant be glad. May my accusers be clothed with dishonor. May they be wrapped in their own shame as in a mantle. With my mouth, I will give great thanks to the Lord. I will praise him in the midst of the throng, for he stands at the right hand of the needy to save them from those who would condemn them to death. The word of the Lord. You know, I just noticed it even as I was reading it, that last verse, well, before that, steadfast love, steadfast love. The Lord has done this. The arrow points from the Lord to us. The Lord saves us. He stands at the right hand of the needy. That's what jumped out. He stands at the right hand of the needy. Don't we say he sits at the right hand of God in the Nicene Creed? He ascends into heaven and he sits at the right hand of God. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. But here, in sort of a parallel, he stands at the right hand of the needy. We love God. We sit at the right hand of God. By standing at the right hand of the needy. Okay. I was going to pray one prayer. I think I'll keep praying it. God, our refuge and strength, you have bound together, us together in a common life, in all our conflicts. Help us to confront one another without hatred or bitterness, to listen for your voice amid competing claims, and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. In the name of the Creator, and the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the needy. Thanks be to God.